Hey guys, Kevin here in Japan, and you know what? I want to talk about a concept, a concept of yards. Now, a lot of my students have trouble with this concept. Now, um, a lot of my students here in Japan, they do live in houses, they don't live in apartments, and you can see there's houses, this is a street with single family dwellings. But one thing that a lot of houses in Japanese cities lack is yards and green space. So you can check this place out. They don't, they don't have a yard. Um, they might have like a little patch of dirt in front with maybe a couple of plants and things enough Sometimes not even enough to park a car So when I was in Canada recently, I was telling my students about my parents and how my parents have a very large backyard and they have a big front yard and My son had fun playing in the yard and I showed them pictures and they were really they were like wow your parents are rich Wow to own so much land. I said oh my parents aren't rich, you know, they they're middle class. They do well, but you know um, people in Canada have yards, and again, even people who are, are well-to-do or have very nice houses, here's another very nice house, there's just, aside from the house, there's not very much space, a few plants in front maybe, to kind of green it up a bit, but a lot of, in a lot of places, in the city, now I'm speaking for the city, um, in r more rural areas, they would have yards, oh, sorry about the sun there, but uh, yeah, so there you go, hey, oh, this house has a bit of a yard, they don't take care of it though, they don't maintain it. All right, folks, so there you go. Kevin coming to you from Japan, a place that often in cities has a lack of yards. So we'll see you later, and stay tuned for more. And, oh, yeah, guys, remember, of course, I got a new channel. Okay, links below. Links below, new channel. Go subscribe. Um, it's cool. <laughs> Run because it's fun. All right, guys, take care from Kevin here in Japan.